So maybe you are giving it away, selling it, or have decided to hard or factory reset your MacBook Air M2. And before that, from Time Machine, you want to back up all your data using an external hard drive or SSD. So in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First, from Settings, go to General to Time Machine. Select Add Backup Disk. Now in this stage, you have to insert the backup, the hard drive to your Mac and it will show on your screen. If you have inserted multiple hard drives, a list will appear and you'll have to just select from that. In our case, we just have one disk. So we're clicking on Setup Disk. If you want to use password for privacy protection, you can keep this option toggled on. Put down a password for that, verify it and then write down a hint for that. In Disk Usage Limit, if you have selected None, your entire hard drive will be used for backup. If you have selected custom, the space you select for backup will be used for that purpose only. You can select it right there like that. You can use the rest of your hard drive for other usual function. For our video, we'll select none. When you're done, just select done. After what you have to do, go to options, select your backup frequency depending on your activities and the amount of data. For our video, we're selecting automatically every day. If you want to exclude any type of data from backup, just add it from here and then press exclude. Otherwise, just cancel it and go back. When you're done, press done and wait for the backup process to start. Now from toolbar, you can click on time machine. Here it is. The options available to you in here is keep this backup, browse time machine backups or open time machine settings, which is open right now on your screen. Let's go to browse time machine backups and you see the backup just started today. In your case, since the backup has just started today, it's showing in here. Press cancel to go back. Now, while this process carries on, you can do other works on your MacBook. It doesn't matter. Now, when the backup completes, click on the time machine and then you will see all your selected data is backed up on your hard drive. And after that, what you can do is just go ahead and safely remove or eject your hard drive from your Mac. Now, remember one thing that when your external hard drive will be full, time machine will start erasing all this data to back up new ones. So that's how you can back up your data on Mac through time machine using an external hard drive or SSD. Please do let us know if you have any queries about this process. We'll try to get back to you. Thank you for watching.